What is up ninjas? It is Kevin back again with That Lifestyle Ninja and today I'm going to teach you how to do Amazon back-end keywords the right way. So I think we can all agree that back-end keywords on Amazon are a bit complicated. People always ask me, what should I include? What should I leave out? How many keywords should I put in? Do I have to have keywords in my title and my backend keywords and my product description or just once? And don't let that complexity deter you guys because right now, today, I'm gonna make it incredibly simple from hundreds of hours of iterative testing. I'm gonna lay it out for you simple, what you need to include to have the best keywords and to hit on all the long tail phrases that you need for your product. All right, guys, so let's jump right in. So for today, the tools that we're going to be using are Merchant Words, Keyword Inspector, and Microsoft Excel. So the example product that I'm going to be doing for you guys today, and I'm going to walk you through exactly how I'm generating these backend keywords from start to finish, right? So the first product we're going to take a look at is an acrylic sign holder. Um, this is one of the products that I was interested in the past, so I know a little bit about it, and so I hope that um, it'll shed some insight on exactly how we're actually generating these backend keywords. So the first thing I do is head over to merchantwords.com, right? And so we type in acrylic sign. Um, and as you can see, there's some uh, long tail phrases here, acrylic sign holder wall mount, um, acrylic sign holder, acrylic sign, five by seven, some of the long tails for the actual sizes. So we'll go ahead and download this as a CSV. Um, and now let's get a little bit different, right? So what is an acrylic sign holder mainly used for? So it's mainly used for a restaurant sign, right? Because this, these are the signs that are used in restaurants to kind of show the menu at the front desk. So here you go, 165,000 searches a month. And we wouldn't have originally seen that unless we had typed in uh, an indirect usage of our product. So let's try a few others. Um, uh, plastic sign. Plastic sign holders, plastic sign board, blank walls, sign holders eight and a half by 11. All right, let's take this one too. Um, menu sign holder, nothing there. Let's try menu holder. Here we go, menu, restaurant menu holder. There's a lot of great stuff right here. And so then once you have pretty much all of your bases covered for the usages of your, of your product and all the different ways that people could actually be typing these usages in, um, then we're going to go ahead and jump into Excel. All right, guys. So the next thing I do, and this is a tip that I learned from a buddy that's doing about a million a month on, on Amazon that I hadn't thought of myself. So I'm going give, to give credit to Brock out there. You know who you are. Um, is take a look at the highest traffic per month keywords, right? So you can, you know, if you want to include your first 10 or your first 20, whatever it is, right? Just um, make the choice. Then go ahead and head back into our trusty tool to remove duplicates. And so these are the top volume of all of our searches, right, guys? So let's take a look at these. Menu holder, restaurant, Mexican signs, clear acrylic, corrugated. Maybe, maybe corrugated isn't the best word for us. Blanks, material, letter, no trespassing, document, wall holders, board, card, back, poster, but well, eleven stand, right? So these all make perfect sense, right? These are our biggest volume, guys. So then take this, uh, this collection of words with no duplicates and go ahead and run it into a Spanish translator, right? Because the number two language spoken in America, guys, is Spanish. So leaving these keywords out is really doing yourself a big disservice. So let's take these keywords here and let's throw them into our master list that we have generated here, guys. So go ahead and count the characters. And then from here, I basically just copy and paste groupings of, remember, this is after you go manually through it and make sure that anything that snuck in, like, you know, lawn probably doesn't deserve to be there, anything that snuck in. So this is after the manual go through, you add your Spanish words, and then you take groupings of a thousand characters and copy and paste them into your back end keywords, guys, and then you are done. All right, so once we have this master list, we go ahead and copy and paste. Um, I'm just holding shift command down to go ahead and copy and paste all of these in a column. 
Then head over to tracemyip.org slash tools, remove duplicate words and text. So this is the key, guys. So we're copy and pasting all of our different keywords, all of the unique long tail phrases that we found, and we compiled in that master list um, composed of the four merchant word Excel files, and then also the one that we got from Keyword Inspector, taking a look at some of the keywords that our competitor is ranking for. Um, and so then go ahead and press original order. And so what this does is it removes all duplicate words, right? Because Amazon, the Amazon search algorithm, how it works is you only need a keyword one time in your title, your description, which is your bullet, your, your paragraphs that you're actually describing what your product is, and your backend keywords. It only needs to appear once. And so what this does is it removes all of the duplicate words and lets you really get the most bang for your buck in the character space that Amazon allows you in your backend keywords. Um, so we have 39, 25 characters here. So I usually go through this. Um, this is kind of the tedious part, but trust me guys, it's worth it. I go through and make sure that anything that might not necessarily be related to my, um, listing that just kind of snuck in there somehow, I go ahead and take care of manually, right? So leather might not be a good one for us. Um, people could use it for parking signs, maybe in a police station. Um, so suction cups, right? So we're not offering that in our listing. It's, it's not a bundle or anything like that. So I might take, take, take that out. Um, these sizes are good, right? So you can hit for all these long tail phrases when people search for a specific size sizes. Um, neon might not be for us, right? Because we're kind of just doing the generic, uh, acrylic plastic cases. Um, bearings might not be good right guys so go through this kind of manually and make sure that you know anything that's snuck in that isn't necessarily related to your key list to your keyword list um, you manually remove and so once you're done with that then I'll show you what to do next all right guys so the next step once you have those four CSVs downloaded the next thing I do is get them all aggregated into one Excel sheet right so this is the first one we did um, this is the second one we did starting at Mexican restaurant signs um, and etc. So there's four in here, right? And so then the next thing I do is go ahead and filter by volume. Um, and so once you have this filtered by volume, then we're going to go into um, keyword inspector, right? And so the thing we do here is do a reverse ASIN search. So what this does is show you the exact key phrases that your competitors are ranking for um, as, as far as long tails and they sometimes give you PPC as well depending on which option you choose. So the, the thing I do for identifying which listing I'm going to use my reverse ASIN search on is by checking out the one that appears in the number one organic search results. So these are the sponsored ones, right? So these aren't the ones that are actually appearing for our main keyword, which is acrylic sign. So let's go ahead and click into this listing, copy the ASIN, Go into new reverse ASIN search, paste it here, um, and start reverse ASIN search. And I usually use the USA extensive three credits per ASIN. And so once you have that downloaded, you can take a look at what your competitors are ranking for. So this is showing the keyword phrase itself, um, the ranking on Amazon pages for the specific keyword. So for example, if someone searched clear frame holder, they would appear in the organic position one for this, this keyword phrase. Um, and so what I normally do here is go ahead and hide or delete this row right here and then copy and paste the keyword and the estimated search volume. Um, and if there's a lot, right? So there's 2,800 here. And a lot of these, there's zero search volume. So when you have one with a bunch of keywords like that, sometimes I like to go ahead and filter out uh, the ones that have zero Amazon estimated monthly search volume because you don't really care if you're ranking for words that have no searches, right? So let's put this grouping here at the bottom of our previously generated Excel sheet, right? So this is the one that we generated from Merchant Words, those four um, different Excel sheets. And then let's go ahead and sort this one more time by descending. So now we have our master list guys, right? So then the next step here is to get rid of any duplicates. And so in Excel, this is pretty easy. We just head over to data, 
remove duplicates. Um, so you want to make sure both are highlighted so that if there is duplicates, it also deletes the volume. Remove duplicates from column A, right, because this is where they would be. So it looks like there's 26 duplicates. Go ahead and remove them. And then we'll head to trace my IP, guys, and this is the key. All right, ninjas, I hope that was a really helpful kind of look into how I'm generating my backend keywords and getting the most possible long tail key phrases that I can get so that I'm ranking for, you know, long tail key phrases that I may not even thought of. For a ton more content on how I'm generating keywords, um, how to identify common misspellings, right? And so I know that sounds weird, but trust me, guys, typos work. People make mistakes all the time, and you want to make sure that you're hitting for those mistakes um, for the keyword errors. Um, for a lot more info, for a ton more on keywords, backend keywords, and for advanced FBA strategies in general, make sure you check out our FBA Facebook page. It's the only Facebook page for advanced sellers, so make sure you check it out. And please, please, please make sure that you're subscribing, right, guys, because I'm putting this out all for free, and I'm doing that because I want to make sure that everybody grinding every single day to become financially independent has all the help that they deserve. And make sure you're checking out my other videos, guys. I promise you they're packed with nothing but advanced FBA content that is going to make you money and take your Amazon business to the next level.